For the last couple of weeks, the team here has been waiting to exhale, waiting and watching for the smallest sign of a sniffle. And now, happy to report, the ferrets are just fine. Very, very excited. This is a major milestone for us. Ferrets chosen because their respiratory system is similar to humans were given a vaccine candidate a few weeks ago, then exposed to the COVID-19 virus. The vaccine induces very good immune responses and most importantly, it protects these ferrets from the infections. The findings pave the way for human trials in the fall, a positive step in the global race to find an effective vaccine and to secure Canada's access to it. The federal government has invested nearly $200 million to help create and manufacture a made-in-Canada vaccine. Aside from the team in Saskatoon, Quebec-based Medicago is also getting help to develop and manufacture its plant-based vaccine. But it could get complicated because most of its production capacity is in the U.S. So it's certainly helpful to have your facility in your country uh, when there's a case of a pandemic because, of course, there's a political game. There have been tugs of war before to be first in line. And while Canada relies on its global partners now, experts say vaccine independence is key. Borders do get closed uh, because every government's priority is their own uh, population. Uh, so having a Canadian supply of vaccine is critical. We will um, construct in the upper level there. The it's why in Saskatoon the plan is to create a successful vaccine and eventually produce up to 10 million doses a month. You know, this is our job to do and I think um, especially now it's important to do this as quickly as possible. To ensure a Canadian win is one everyone can share in. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.